I don't. I'm not. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candace. I'm Candace and we're going to be conversing today. So as you can tell by the title, I am canceling my BoxyCharm. And as of right now, I have actually canceled. It was very easy to cancel. I just sent an email to, I think it was info at BoxyCharm.com with unsubscribe in the title. And I put, I want to unsubscribe from the box. And within 24 hours, I got a message saying, we're sad to see you go, you are unsubscribed, log back in if you want to, yada, 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 and that was it. It was a really simple and easy process, and here's the reason why I unsubscribed. I really feel like the products in the BoxyCharm box are made for people who are still exploring makeup, and I know exactly what works for my skin now. I know my undertones, and I know... Um, the colors that work well on my skin, and I'm just not really getting that from BoxyCharm. And I don't want to continue to pay 25 bucks, even though it is relatively cheap for um, five full-size items. If I'm not going to keep all five items, the subscription service is just not worth it. Now, having said that, let's go through the items that are in this month's box, the June box, because some of them are actually worth using. So the first product in the box that I probably will actually use is the um, Kylie Skin Foaming Face Wash. It looks like this. It's a huge product. And I don't really patronize the Kylie Jenner brand. Um, and it's nothing against her. I just, other than the lip stuff, her products don't really appeal to me. Um, I didn't even know she had a foaming face wash, but I can always use something extra to wash my face. But that leads me to my next point that I don't feel like BoxyCharm collaborates with enough black brands. That's super important to me and I get that you get a variety of things, but I really have not seen black brands highlighted in any of the boxes that I've gotten. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I looked up each of the brands that I have shown you guys and none of them are black owned brands. That's very important to me. I really like Juvia's Place. I really like Fenty. I really like the lip bar and I haven't gotten any of those products. But in continuing with showing you the things that I've gotten, I also got this um, KAR Kim Ariana and Brielle lip liner and lip um, gloss. And I recognize those names that I believe that that is Kim Zolciak from Real Housewives. It's cute that they have the lip situation but they also have fake lips so um kind of in the same situation with the Kylie Kylie stuff it's just it's not for me it's not for me and the color is actually kind of muted it might work well but I'm really unsure I like the whole idea of a lip kit a liner and a gloss that work well together but these colors are just a little bit a little ashy looking for me. I feel like I will try them just to see if they work since I do have them in the box. But that, I, it's just a little, it's giving me like salmon. And I just don't feel like my brown skin would look good with a salmon lip gloss. The next product that I have is the um, First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. Now, this is something that I will absolutely be using. You know, as you get older, you do get like acne bumps and stuff on your body or even when you're when you're younger, depending on your body, like having a little bump or pimple like on your butt or on your legs or on your back. That is a thing that happens. So I will be using this. It says it's for sensitive skin, which is great. Um, this will be in my shower and this is something that I will absolutely use. The next thing in this box that I will be using is the Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara. I mean, everyone can use a good mascara. I'm pretty sure that this is the color black. It says ultra dark, so I guess that's their way of saying black. It's good to have another mascara. I love my e.l.f. I love my Maybelline, so hopefully I will like um, these uh, Lily Lashes as well. The last thing in this box is a Laura Geller Multitasking Eye, Lip, and Cheek Palette. It's the Cream to Powder Trio, and it says Shades of Nude. Shades of nude, and I'm pretty sure this nude that's in here is not my nude. So let's just open it up and check it out. All right, so inside of here we have Tuscan Coconut Grove and Gold Dust. Tuscan Coral, I believe, or yeah. Tuscan Coral, 
Coconut Grove Gold Dust. I could probably use gold dust as highlighter. Coconut Grove is probably almost exactly my skin tone. I don't, I'm not. I, so it really seems to me like BoxyCharm will ask you all these questions about what you like in your skin tone and what you use the most and then they'll just send you whatever they'll just be like okay for this much she's gonna get whatever we give her and that's not what I need in a subscription service I really need a subscription service if I'm gonna put the money in to send me things that I can actually use and things that go well together when it comes to makeup I get that the whole idea is here try these things and see if they work with the things that you already have but I just kind of feel disregarded. I feel like I don't feel seen. And there are brands that do cater to black women and they are owned by black women. And I just want to patronize the brands and the subscription services that actually cater to me. So honestly, that's why I'm getting rid of BoxyCharm. If you are fairer skin or you're still in the exploratory phase of makeup, you might be completely fine with this service. But I did it for three months and I was not blown away. I really was underwhelmed with, with everything. Yes, there are things that I can use, but there are things that I'm going to put in my drawer and probably only use one time just to see if it works. And for me, that doesn't work out well. Thank you for watching this episode of Conversations with Candace. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Also, follow me on Instagram if you have not already. I do tons of makeup videos there and even a video about this beautiful hair. Until next time, y'all have a good day.